These are these glitch works. So basically, the more money you have in your account, the more money you're gonna get doing the glitch. So basically, if you have ten thousand dollars in your account, you're gonna get ten thousand dollars per second doing the glitch. And if you have five hundred k in your account, you're gonna get five hundred k per second. And also, if you have one like ten million dollars in your account, you're gonna get ten million dollars per second doing the glitch. So let's get started guys you have exactly 10 seconds to leave a like on the video and sub to the channel if you want to win a modern account anyways how's it going guys it's your boy max jst welcome back to another content five of five online video so on today's video i'm going to show you easy solo money clip if you are going to enjoy today's video be sure to drop a like and subscribe and let's get straight on today's video guys to start with the glitch all you have to do go to story mode and then create a, a invite only session guys when you spawn the session all you have to do Come to the location I'm showing you guys now on the screen. And when you guys come to the location, pull up your interaction menu, go to spawn location, and make sure you put it on last location. And guys, when you put it on the last location, get over, go in the store and grab the store. When you guys finish grab the store, get inside the little room, press pause, go online, and go to get over to creator and press X on it. When you guys in creator, just select create a race, and you can create any race you want. But for me, I'm gonna choose the land race because it's more easy to do it. And guys, when you finish like create a land, create a land race, and go, I'm gonna put the location now on the screen. Get over to the same location as me. Guys, the reason I give you the location because the location is kind of close to the store. You have to create the race close to the store, so that's why I'm giving you this location. Guys, when you're in the location, all you have to do create a mini race close to the store. When you guys finish put enough checkpoint, go ahead and test the race. When you guys finish test the race, press pause, go online, and invite only session.
guys when you spawn this session you're gonna see you spawn next to the store and when you spawn next to the store go ahead and wrap the store again But guys, this time when you're having the store, make sure you throw some sticky bomb on the wall like, like I'm doing right now. And then, when you finish throw the sticky bomb, make sure you get the money. And after you get the money, blow yourself up and press pause, quickly press pause. Go to leave Grand Theft Auto 5 online or leave GTA 5 online. Guys, when you spawn in story mode, quickly press pause and create an invite on the session again. When you guys spawn the session, what you wanna do, call any of your personal vehicle and again bring it to the to Los custom. And when you guys inside L LS custom, get over to sell and stay over the price, don't press anything for like 5 seconds. And when you stay over the price for like 5 seconds, press pause, go to online and go to creator again. When you guys create that, go ahead and create a mini race again. You don't have to be long, just create a mini race so you can test it. When you guys finish create the mini race, go ahead test it again. When you guys finish test the race, press pause, go online, GT online, and go to invite only session. And when you guys click on click on, click on invite only session, you're gonna see a black screen. If you don't see it, that means you'll do something wrong, you have to do it again. Guys, when you spawn in the invite only session, all you have to do is switch your outfit and then go to any ATMs. When you guys when you guys get to the ATM, all you have to do is withdraw all your money. As you can see on the screen right now, I got 10 million dollars in my account. I'm gonna withdraw it and I'm gonna get 10 million dollars per second. For you, it's probably gonna be different because you're gonna have different like amount of money on your account. Let's say if you have 10k, you're gonna get 10k per second, and if you have 500 k you're gonna get you're gonna get 500 k per second. So that's basically for today's video guys, hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe.
Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you a very, very easy money glitch and you can make 1.8 million every minute. So I plan to be live all week to give cars like crazy and to help people make money. Don't forget to drop a like, so please drop a like right about now. So to do this glitch, you need to have a friend. So if you don't have friends online at the moment, there's some solo money glitches in the description or you can become a member and receive help from me or from my collaborators. So to do this glitch you need to have a bunker, you need to have a mobile operation center. Make sure you have personal vehicle storage in bay 3 so you can store a vehicle in the back of your mobile app. And from there make sure you have a facility or an arena or you can also use your casino or the nightclub, okay? And you also need to have a friend. Your friend needs to have a casino. And from there, you guys are good to go. Make sure to start an invite-only session or a close friend session. Invite your friend and start to do the glitch. Once you're in the session with your friend, your friend needs to go to his casino penthouse and he needs to take his phone and request a contact mission from Lester, Ron or Gerald. And then he needs to go to the phone, take his phone, select the mission from the contact. He needs to start holding down the pause button. He needs to release the pause button and a fraction of a second later, he needs to accept the mission on his phone. He will hear a click in the background and the pause menu will be open. So from there he needs to spam B to close the pause menu and hit right D-pad to use the phone. After that, he will spawn in the mission and he needs to spam RB and right D-pad. And if done correctly, you will see the leaderboard and you will have access to the phone menu. If it is the case, just select valid service and select any car you have in your casino penthouse garage. Then he will get a black screen and he will spawn outside. He will be able to see his car under the casino for a second and then he will spawn in the car. Then he needs to exit the car and go back in his casino penthouse. Once your friend is back in the casino penthouse, he needs to go to the phone again and press right D-pad and the pause button at the same time. Then he needs to press B to close the pause menu. Then he needs to use the phone, go to valet service and select penthouse garage and select any vehicle in his penthouse garage. Then he needs to spam the pause button to open the pause menu. After that, he needs to go to the online tab, scroll down to options and scroll down to kill yourself and spam A. After that, he will spawn outside and you guys are now done with the setup of this glitch. So the duper needs to request his MOC and go to his penthouse garage. He needs to have the car he wants to duplicate in it, but also another car. He needs to drive a car outside and tell his friend to get in the car. And then you need to exit the car and tell your friend to drive away from you with the vehicle. Then you need to register as an MC president, request a Fagio and the Fagio will not show up on the map. After that, get in your casino penthouse garage, drive the car you want to duplicate out and tell your friend to exit your other vehicle. The vehicle will disappear, so drive to your mobile app and store the car in it. To do the glitch again, drive your car outside, tell your friend to get in the car and exit your vehicle. Run to your casino, request a Fagio and get in your penthouse garage. Drive the car outside, tell your friend to exit your other vehicle and store your car in your MOC. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it is the case, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to my channel, hit the join button. Thanks for watching and see you. In so all you guys need for this glitch is a friend, an arena, an arena garage, and that is literally it. That's all you guys need. This glitch is super duper easy, guys. You can do this literally within five minutes, okay? It's so, so easy. All you need is just a friend, an arena, and an arena garage. That's literally... All you need, make sure guys, because I'm almost positive that this does count for the, um, for the, uh, frick, I can't think, for the daily sell limit. So if you don't be careful, you could extend or you could like reach the limit. So be careful on that. But, um, 
yeah enjoy the video let's get right on into the glitch make sure to subscribe with those post notifications on let's get right on into it all right so the very first thing you guys want to do before you guys go ahead and start this glitch make sure that you go to your guys's network settings and test the nat connection or type whatever it says make sure to just test it that's literally all you have to do make sure to do that before you do load up gta i don't know why but this actually makes it work um yeah it's really weird but we tried everything else and this is actually the only one that actually works so even if you're on ps4 make sure to just go to your network settings and test the nat type connection and once you do that you, all you want to do is just pretty much just load up into grand theft auto 5 and just load up into story mode all right so pretty much all you guys want to do is just load up into story mode and then start up a closed friend session so once you start up your closed friend session pretty much once you load in you want to go to your arena so i'll catch you guys whenever i am at my arena garage all right, so what you guys want your friend to do is pretty much just make him start up a Rockstar created mission. So whenever your friend starts up a Rockstar created mission, if he is actually in your game, it's going to show up um, like a screen that says, are you sure you want to join? Make sure to decline the very first one. Um, yeah, so this right here, your party has started a job. Would you like to join? Press no on that one. So what you want to do is go to sell and go on the second one where it says, are you sure you want to sell this vehicle? So now you want your friend to invite you to the mission. So you can go ahead and invite me to it right now. Okay, so now that we should be joining his game in just a second. Now you just want to leave the mission and let me know whenever you are back on your feet, like walking around. So then once your friend lets you know that he's back on ground, what you want to do is just double tap A on the very first alert. Alright, so right now guys, I'm going to double tap A and then wait 20 seconds exactly. So we're going to count down out loud and then press double, we're going to double tap A again. So we're going to go like this, double tap right now, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So then you want to double tap A again. And now you will just load back up. And if you are in your car, like we should be right now, it's going to say press right on the D pad to modify our vehicle. So then right here, you're going to modify it. If you're not on your, if you're not already in your car, you, that means it didn't work um yeah so that's unfortunate for you you just want to restart the glitch but pretty much then you want to go to upgrade benny's vehicle press it twice again and then all you have to do once you're here is just back all the way exit the workshop and three two one there we go there's eight hundred fifty eight thousand eight hundred dollars literally just like that the easiest money that you can make in gta online so i'm going to show you the perspective for my friend actually so i'll like let my friend do the glitch so i'll be the one inviting him just to show you guys what your friend wants to do um so yeah i'll be right back to show you guys what to do for that all right guys so right now my friend is inside of his elegy so i'm gonna go to jobs play job rockstar created go to missions a titan of a job and start a titan of a job up it's literally this is all you have to do so now once my friend is now inside of it, so now what you want to do is just uh, press right on the D-pad so that you're modifying your vehicle. Let me know when you're uh, like that. Alright. Okay, so hit, go on sell and then hit sell and then hit it one more time to where it says, are you sure you want to like sell the vehicle so are you there right now all right so i'm gonna invite you right now and let me know whenever you get the alert 
All right, so I'm gonna exit the job right now, guys. This is pretty much what your friend wants to do. So now I am on the ground again. I'm walking around in my garage. So now what you wanna do is double tap the very first alert and then wait exactly 20 seconds and then double tap the second one. Did you, you know what I mean? Like in GTA, you know where it says, are you sure you wanna join this game? Or did you not accept it yet? Did you accept the invite yet or no? Oh, okay, <laughs> we'll do that again. We'll go to missions, a titan of a job. We'll start this back up. Oh yeah, you're, okay, Never mind. All right, so I'm gonna invite you again. Make sure, um, yeah. So not, not yet, not yet. So now once I'm back on ground, I'll let you know. Okay, now you can accept it. And so now it says, are you sure, or it should in a few seconds, are you sure you wanna join this mission or something like that, this job, right? Make sure to accept the one that I'm about to send you, okay? The one I'm sending right now. Let me get in a tighten up a job real quick. Oh my gosh, of course, okay. Um, make sure, it, does it say your friend has started a job? Oh. All right, make sure so double tap that one and then wait exactly 20 seconds and then double tap the next one. Double tap A. A, sorry. All right, so now you wanna modify the vehicle again. So let me know when you're there. And then once you get back into your garage, what you did with the sell thing where it's like, are you sure you wanna sell? Just do that to the Benny's upgrade. Go to Benny's upgrade and do that and then totally just back out. Just press B like three times and then exit garage and then you should get the money. You got it? All right, and there you go, guys. That is literally all you have to do. I showed you your friend's perspective and your perspective if you want to get the money. That is literally all you have to do. Probably one of the easiest glitches on Grand Theft Auto 5 Online right now. Um, yeah, super easy. $858,000 just like that. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications to not miss out on another Grand Theft Auto Online video just like this one. And um, yeah, make sure to let me know if you want to see more videos just like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. What's happening, boys? And welcome to this segment right here. You know what? Yesterday we um, we hit part one, two, three, and four. Uh, today I figured I need to put this video out for some of you guys that are dying to make some money. Uh, this is going to be a solo unlimited money glitch. I want to say that, but a lot of people are going to argue if it's a glitch or if it's not a glitch so I'm gonna explain everything to you guys in order for you to do it okay now I ask that you guys smash a like on this video alright I love coming here and interacting with you guys giving you the lowdown on if it's working or not and at the same time if it's worth your time or not I also have your best interest at heart when it comes to your account being banned or not so smack a like on the video hang with me a little bit I'm not gonna only show you one but two glitches right here in this video and the two glitches are solo now like i said in the beginning you know what before we even get into this i do want to figure you know what let me hook you up with this and i'll leave it up to you if you guys are up to it or not okay i'll give you the pluses and the minuses so there is a video on the internet that tells you you could make around two million every um two minutes or something like that it tells you something about a glitch or 
again I'll leave that up to you guys to tell me in the comment if this is a glitch or not this is the roulette table okay the whole idea about this glitch is to manipulate the game into thinking that it didn't save okay so you guys remember when you used to come out of the Los Santos customs and we used to just shut down the application so your friend would stop your car outside Los Santos customs who's, who's old school a little bit to remember that it wasn't that long ago this is the exact same thing okay we're not gonna trick the game but I'm gonna tell you what you have to do so this way you understand the steps up here you can get maximum bets on the table in here you can get little bets going okay now the youtuber of course remember these youtubers are somewhat driven by money so they sugarcoat it for you they tell you that you're gonna come here and place a bet so placing a bet will happen and then they tell you place maximum bet and smack a on the button and that's gonna give you around 50,000 chips now it looks like Rockstar has adjusted that okay it looks like they've adjusted that and you can't get the 50,000. I could be wrong. If I am, you can tell me how to hit the 50,000 in the comment section. But what you do is basically say odds or even and that makes you pick between black and white on the colors. As you can see, they took 5,000 chips away from us and 5,000 chips is equal to $5,000. Okay? And you wait it out right here. Now, I won on this one, right? But let's say you didn't win. Let's say you didn't win. Then the best thing to do is, of course, get off the menu and in the application. Okay? That's how you do it. And this way you can keep gaining money over and over and over again. Now, because I won on this one, the advice that they give you is to get off the table. And now you can see I got 60, right? And they tell you to save something on your outfit. That's how you get the game to, to save, right? You're going to see a little orange circle. At the bottom it should come up any minute now there it is right there and that means the game has saved okay so now you understand how it happens I'm gonna tell you this though if this betting table was up to 50,000 and Rockstar has placed a 5,000 cap on it that means they're monitoring these things okay keep that in mind keep your account safety in mind um, I tried it one time and it said we cannot load your second character online so I don't know if that has something to do with it or not but I always tell you things the way they are if you value the DLC that they get out on this game if you value your um, your history that you built on this game your character the empire that you have or if you're even a new player and you just don't want to be put into a cheaters lobby or something like that just keep that in mind because they did it to us with um, Lester glitch remember Lester glitch he, we stood there we made a ton of money but at the end of the day they, they wiped the money clean and we were basically shitless scared that they're gonna take the entire money that we have so they were nice enough to us that they didn't take it so like I said I told you about that glitch and this way you know now from one solo glitch to another baby this wheel right here is causing a whole lot of stir on the internet when it comes to what you're gonna make off of it Everybody wants a car, right? And you see pictures popping left and right. People saying, I got it on the first try. And good for them. But there is a way for you to get the car for free. And not only this car. You can also get other cars for free as well. So here's the deal. You get one spin a day. And with this one, I'm going to show it to you all the way. Okay, we'll go all the way for this. If you haven't smacked a like on the video, I want you to smack a like right now. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to spin. Actually, you know what? It's my first time doing it. So if it doesn't work, at least we'll see what the limits are on it. I'm going to click right on the D-pad. It's going to say spin. And here are the prizes. Of course, we want the car, right? So let's go toward the wheel. And um, left to spin. And there we go. Okay. So now the best thing to do is to have the application ready, right? And if you don't get what you want, we are going to shut it down. So we didn't get what we want. We shut it down. And now we're going to load in again. Okay, so I spared you guys the sitting down that you sit through the whole loading thing. The best thing to do, of course, is to go into an invite-only session because that makes it easy to load in and out of the game and you don't have to worry about loading into other lobbies. The servers have been really struggling lately. And that's because of something that I read on Twitter earlier today. Somebody was saying they had over a million players 
online and that's like a record breaking thing I don't know what truth is to that um, but with every DLC whether they have a lot of traffic or because they're brand new components in the game there is always the instability okay so we load it back in and we're gonna make our way down okay as we make our way down I want to tell you something um, they announced two games in the arcade machine so there's like two classic games they had them on Twitter today I haven't had the time to play them yet I'm not really a big fan of that I rather they actually use their you know programming abilities into making a drift DLC for us or making the races frozen to a single vehicle so we can manage to race with different vehicles that we have instead of just having a ton of vehicles sitting in the garage and doing nothing whatsoever okay did the glitch work or no the glitch worked okay you can go ahead and spin the wheel again now you can do this to your heart's desire right you can keep doing this over and over and over until you get the car one thing that you probably don't know is once you win the car on the podium there is more for you to win so you can win other cars it's not only that single car that you have to win and that's it after that it just starts giving you random stuff okay so you might end up with a garbage truck you might end up with with anything random when it comes to vehicles okay so that should do it for the the two solo unlimited glitches which is up for conversation I guess in the comment section if they are glitches or not if you're hating on the title Blame it on the YouTubers. These are the titles that are being used and um, that's the age we live in. I hope you guys appreciate the knowledge on the two glitches. If you do, smack a like. I'll see